So, a lot of notes and everything, you know, we gotta... I was originally gonna do this next weekend, but instead I figured this weekend, you know, it worked out perfectly. Uh, everything worked out perfectly. We got a lot of lacrosse talk about PLL, um, world lacrosse games. I mean, everything is setting up nicely, you know, as we, you know, get into the middle of July. And, you know, things are coming to a head. Uh, first things first, we got to go over the NL. We got to go over the Las Vegas Desert Dogs. They they did their expansion draft just a couple days ago. Notable players that they got, Connor Curse, Jack Hanna. That, the, the, those are some notable gets right there. Big time gets for the Desert Dogs. And along with some draft picks, like about seven or eight draft picks from San Diego, Rochester, and Calgary, I think. You know, in both 2022 and 2023, uh, the Desk Dogs, they, they, they might be looking pretty good next year. They might be looking pretty good in, in terms of, you know, stability. But we'll see if they can put butts in the seats. That's the big thing. And, you know, you got to put butts in the seats. And, you know, winning also comes at the way, and, you know, the way Panther City did their first year, that, you know, that was a nickel of itself. You know, a lot of expansion teams in the NL, their first couple of seasons, you know, at least the past few expansion teams and everything like that, they've been doing well. They've been doing well. And, you know, Panther City was no exception last season. You know, can Las Vegas, you know, replicate um, replicate that type of success? We'll find out. Um, the NLL schedule is coming out in September. I hope it comes out in time. You know, if it, if it comes out in, you know, September, I hope it comes out, you know, like before the PLL ends their season. I hope it comes out then. I know the NLL awards have came out too, but, I mean... Come on, who cares about all that? I, I do not care for awards and stuff like that for the most part. Um, I've totally forgot, you know, who in the world won like the MVP and stuff like that. I, I, I just, uh, you know, like the MVP of the league and everything. But I mean, what? It's whatever. Um, the PLL right now, right now the PLL it is. It's getting interesting. It's getting real interesting. You know, you I'm looking up the standings again real quick here. Everybody has a win. That's the first thing. First things first. Everybody has a win so far this year. Atlas at 4 and 1, Chrome, Whip Stakes also 4 and 1. You got the Archers at 3 and 2. You got the Water Dogs at 2 and 3. And then bring it up the rear or the Redwoods. The cannons at last place chaos at one and four. Chaos having a point differential of negative seventeen. Um, but again, the chaos they didn't have all their guys the first three weeks of the season, and it it, it it didn't even look too good for them fourth week of the season. You know, against the Water Dogs. You know, Michael Sowers and the Water Dogs finally were able to get a win. You know, because they because the Water Dogs not started off very well. They got it together. They got two wins now. You know, um, you know, like everybody's in good position. We, it's still uh, still a lot of lacrosse left in the season in the PLL. Still five weeks left to go. You know, the Whips and the Woods, their rivalry renewed, but the Whips ended up, you know, winning another game by a single point. Matt Rambo had played his lights out in that game. Uh, you know, again, like like Chrome, they won a game on a pass from Nick Turn to Mester. I mean, you know, Mike Mester. You know, you know that that was crazy right there. Archers had some final minute errors against the Atlas, and that caused them to lose. But you know, I think a big one was again, you know, again the Water Dogs. You know, they two straight weeks during the PLL season so far these past two regular season weeks they were able to get victories again one against chaos and the other against the two time champion whips you know again the whips a strong performance from Sowers and Matt Beluka 
you know that type of stuff right there is gonna get you it's gonna get you somewhere you get the future and my water dogs are doing they're doing all right they're doing all right but you know you you gotta you gotta hand it to guys like Trevor Baptiste though Atlas they were able to beat the chrome and I mean the, the, again I think you know I think you know things things for the Atlas right now like like this is a damn good team Atlas is good chrome is good the whips they, they're kind of iffy this year so far um, they've had a couple games where they've played it way too close and I, I just can't I just can't buy with that and of course you know the archers they played that game on ABC you know and put up 20 points you know that that is the good that is the good stuff right there and I think you know the chaos they can turn it around you know now that Josh Byrne Dane Smith Jerry Raganese you know all those guys on chaos if they can turn it around you know I think things will be fine and I think this chaos team can go places but they gotta they gotta turn around quickly um, you know you don't want to be in a point differential of negative 17 you don't want that at all so something's got to give there and in the PLL all-star game which I don't know if I'll be watched or not I don't particularly like all-star games but I might just because you know there may or may not be anything going on you know ne next Saturday I do not know you know depends on how my schedule looks but if I watch this it will be team Trevor Baptiste versus team Connor Farrell you know both these guys you have been on a tear you know, both these guys are face-off guys. Both these guys play absolutely have played absolutely lights out this entire season so far. Notable guys on the Trevor Baptiste squad: Jeff T, Chris Gray, Matt Rambo, Miles Jones. Um, you know, Matt Dunn as well. Blaze Reardon at goalie. You know, again a step. A stacked roster on the Baptiste squad on the uh, um, Farrell squad it'll be you know Will Manny with local Wisnowskis Tom Schreiber Mike Chanichuk I mean it it I don't know if Lyle Thompson will play and that's because we got to talk about something else here you know we got we got to talk about something else um, Lyle Thompson is listed on the Connor Farrell team but he played with the Haudenosaunee in the men's sixes world lacrosse games at the World Games in Birmingham. But he got injured along with Randy Stats, so it is unknown if he'll be playing the Hill All Star game. He's Lyle's been banged up throughout the season so far, but I'm not sure if he's going to play in the PLL All Star game. If he does, that's good. If not. Uh, that 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 it, for, at least for the All Star game that may not mean anything, but for the Cannons that could mean something in the near future, I think. And excuse my new fan in the background. I have a new fan, which is cool. Everything like that. Um, it's a small little fan in the background. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. Uh, both both All Star teams are loaded. Uh, let me tell you. Uh, there, there are guys on reserves from other teams, you know. Uh, I don't think a water dog was selected. I'm not, sh I'm not sure who all got selected from each team, everything like that. I just know the notable guys that got selected, and I had to look at the All Star, you know, selections again just to you know be like, oh yeah, this guy got selected for the All Star game. And it's like again, I don't know if I'm gonna watch the All Star game. I usually, you know. I've been tapped out past two weeks, um, you know, been, been needlessly sick because of some, some, something called the weather, you know, outside, decided to take me out for two weeks, and it is what it is. Tomorrow, tomorrow we go on a journey at about 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time. 
it'll be about 8 o'clock, maybe 8.30, depending on when the Las, the Las Vegas, or rather the Vegas Nighthawks and the Arizona Rattlers in their game. So we got a lot of indoor football to talk about, a lot of championships to talk about. A lot of champions were crowned on championship weekend, and it's going it's to be really intriguing to talk about all this stuff. So we'll see you tomorrow to talk about all that. Um, you know, um, last but not least here, we got to talk about the world again. We got to go back to the world lacrosse games and stuff like that. The women's team, the U.S. women's team, they won the world lacrosse championship beating Canada on U.S. soil at Towson. And again, the world lacrosse, you know, they were playing men's sixes, the world games in Birmingham. But for whatever reason, world lacrosse had trouble, had a little bit of trouble broadcasting some of these games early on. I don't know why. Um, you know, I don't watch sixes. Uh, it's another set of rules. And a lot of people don't really particularly care. Uh, again, I've stated my grievances, and it's because it has to do with the Olympics, and I hate the Olympics. So, like, the Olympics in general, like, absolute trash. Um, I, I feel nothing from the Olympics. You know, it messes up everything. You know, those three, like, every, every two years, you know, the Olympics messes something up. It's kind of like the elections. You know, I don't like to get all political, but, you know, um, the elections mess things up for two years, and then, you know, you have to do it all again in two years. You know, for the most part, we're talking about, like, midterms and presidential elections. You know, not like the odd-year elections or, like, odd-year, you know, championships and stuff like that. In like, you know, Olympic qualifying stuff and politics. But you get what I mean. You get what I mean with the, with the analogy. Uh, it, again, Olympics-style lacrosse is not, you know, cool because it has to do with the Olympics. Again, I don't really care for sixes itself. It's another version of the game. I mean, I, I can't say I hate it because I haven't watched it, but I can say it has to do with the Olympics. I do not like it because it has to do with the Olympics. So, there you go. Um, yeah, that's, that's it for our um, PLL update, our lacrosse update. When it comes to the PLL, we'll be back in August to talk the PLL playoffs and some other stuff when it comes to lacrosse because I know uh, i got to talk about Athletes Unlimited stuff like that even though I don't really want to, um, but I'll do it. It is what it is. Um, there you go. See y'all tomorrow night at about 8 o'clock, 8.30. Take care. Have a good rest of your Saturday night and the Sunday morning.